Yehovah, please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name, amen. We'll start with the Shema, listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself, and you shall act upon your love. To Yehovah, with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Genesis chapter 9. God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you will be upon every wild animal, every bird in the air, every creature populating the ground, and all the fish in the sea. They have been handed over to you. Every moving thing that lives will be food for you. Just as I gave the green plants before, so now I give you everything. Only flesh with its life, which is its blood, you are not to eat. I will certainly demand an account an accounting for the blood of your lives. I will demand it from every animal, from every human being. I will demand from every human being an accounting for the life of his fellow human being. Whoever sheds human blood, by a human being will his own blood be shed. By God made, for God made human beings in his image. And you people, be fruitful, multiply, swarm on the earth and multiply on it. God spoke to Noah and his sons with him. He said, As for me, I am here with establishing my covenant with you, with your descendants after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the livestock, every wild animal with you, all going out of the ark, every animal on earth. I will establish my covenant with you that never again will all living beings be destroyed by the waters of the flood, and there will never again be a flood to destroy the earth. God added, Here is the sign of the covenant I am making between myself and you and every living creature with you. For all generations to come, I am putting my rainbow in the cloud. It will be there as a sign of the, of the covenant between myself and the earth. Whenever... I bring clouds over the earth, and the rainbow is seen in the cloud. I will remember my covenant, which is between myself and you, and every living creature of any kind. And the water will never again become a flood to destroy all living beings. The, flood, the rainbow will be in the cloud, so that when I look at it, I will remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of any kind on earth. God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant which I have established between myself and every living creature on the earth. The sons of Noah who went out from the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham is the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah, and the whole earth was populated by them. Noah, a farmer who was the first to plant a vineyard, he drank so much of the wine that he got drunk and lay uncovered in his tent. Ham, the father of Canaan, saw his father shamefully exposed, went out and told his two brothers. Sham and Yafet took a cloak, put it over both their shoulders, and, walking backward, went in and covered their naked father. Their faces were turned away, so that they did not see their father lying there shamefully exposed. When Noah awoke from his wine, he knew what his younger son, his youngest son, had done to him. He said, Curse be Canaan. He will be a servant of servants to his brothers. Then he said, Blessed be Jehovah, the God of Shem. Canaan, Canaan, will be their servant. May God enlarge Yafet. He will live in the tents of Shem, but Canaan will be their servant. After the flood, Noah lived 350 years. In all, Noah lived 950 years. Then he died. How can we learn to love our creator after reading 
Genesis 9. We can learn some greatness, some great wisdom that has obviously been forgotten. We can know that Elohim blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth. We can trust that today is the same. Nothing has changed. We too are to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. Trust that everything get was given to Noah and his family, that we are to rule over creation, not the other way around. Trust that we are not to eat the blood of an animal. Trust that Elohim will demand an account for the life of his fellow human being. Trust that Elohim made humankind in his image. Trust that Elohim states it again to be fruitful and multiply. Trust that Elohim established his covenant with Noah and his descendants. The covenant states, Elohim will never again destroy all living beings by waters of a flood. There will never again be a flood to destroy the earth. Trust that Elohim gave us a sign for his covenant that is made between him and us, Elohim's rainbow. This is for Elohim to look at and remember his covenant with humankind. Know that something extremely shameful happens with Noah and his son Ham after Noah first planted his vineyard and got drunk. Know that whatever it is, we can learn a valuable lesson. Do not get drunk with wine. Know that whatever this shameful event was, it led Ham's brothers to not even look at their father when helping Noah. Know that Noah was... So upset, he cursed Ham and said to Ham, Servant of servants to his brothers, you are to be. Know that Noah then said, Blessed be Jehovah, the Elohim of Shem, Canaan, Canaan, will be their servant. May Elohim enlarge, may Elohim enlarge Yafet. He will live in the tents of Shem, but Canaan will be their servant. Know that Noah lived 350 years after the flood, for a total of 950 years, then he died. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can teach others to be fruitful and multiply and the real reason of the rainbow in the sky. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. And how can we bear one another's burdens? We can aim to obey Jehovah and be fruitful and multiply and never be deceived that this world will never flood again at a worldwide event. And with the Arianic blessing, Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. 